Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a closer look at an OJIVE because there's actually two ways in which we can re represent the data on an OJIVE graph. Notice that the key word for OJIVE means cumulative. We're accumulating the data. It adds up to the whole thing. Now it can be represented in two ways. We can represent it as the entire data, the whole data set, or as a percentage so that the whole data set is equal to 100% or equal to 1. So let me show you where the difference is. Again, cumulative is associated with the term OJIVE, meaning we're going to graph the data as a percentage or a fraction of the whole. Now notice we again have some test grades. There's a total of 20 of them, and you can see that they fall in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different classes, and we've indicated the class boundaries. Now, what does the cumulative frequency mean as opposed to the cumulative relative frequency? So that's where the difference comes in. So what we're going to do here is look at these numbers which represent the frequency, meaning the number of data points falling within each class. That's what we mean by the frequency. And then if we accumulate that number from 1 through 20, this is what it will look like. So when we get up to the first class, we only have one of the data points. But then if we include the second class, we add these two together and now we have a total of four. Then if we then include the first three classes, we add an additional seven to the four and we get 11. Then if we add the additional class from 80 to 89, we add the additional six data points, add it to 11, we get 17. And finally, when we add the last class to that, we add another three and we have a total of 20. So these are the cumulative frequency data points associated with each class as we go through the classes. So if we're going to graph that here, after the first class, we have one, one data point. So we're about right here. After we include the first two classes, we're at four. When we in include the first three classes, we are at 11. When we include the first four classes, we are at 17. And finally, when we include all of the classes, we are at a total of 20. And then if we connect these dots, we have what we call a cumulative frequency graph. So of course, we start at zero, we go to the first dot, second, third, fourth, and the fifth dot, each showing an increasing frequency number as we add all the, fre the frequencies together. But then the second graph, you'll see exactly the same shape, but the data will be represented differently. We'll represent it as the cumulative relative frequency. In other words, what is the fraction or percentage of 1 out of 20? So this would be an accumulative frequency of 1 out of 20, which is equal to 5%. Then if we add three more to that, so we have a total of four data points in the first two classes together, that it will be 4 out of 20. And 4 out of the 20, that would be equal to 20%. And then if we continue, we add another 7 to that. We have 11. That would be equal to, uh, now let's see here, that's 11 out of 20. And that would be equal to 55%. And then we add 6 more. So now we have 17 out of 20. That now represents a total of 85%. And when we add 3 more, we get 20 out of 20. That represents 100%, or of course, that represents 1, the total amount. So now we're going to graph this, and notice here that I have it in terms of a fraction. So as a fraction, this would be, let's go ahead and, and add another column right here, because I want to write this number in terms of a fraction. That would be 0.05. This would be 0.20. This would be 0 0.55. This would be 0 0.85, and that would be 1.00, or simply 1. So you can see that you could represent it as a percentage, or you could represent it as a fraction of 1. And so now when we place the data points, 5% or 0 0.05 would be about here. Then with the two data points, we're at 0 0.2. With the three data points together, now we're at 0 0.55. It's about up here. With the four data points, we're now at 0 0.85. It would be about here. And finally, with all the data points com combined, the cumulative, we're here. So this is what it would look like. Notice that the shape of the two graphs are identical. They better are identical. It's just that the numbers associated with them are different. 
Now sometimes it helps to write the percentages in there on the graph itself. So this represents 5%, this represents 20%, this represents 55%, this represents 85%, and this represents 100%. So sometimes it's nice to add a data point number so that you can see what they're equal to, or you can do it in terms of accumulative values. So this would be cumulative frequencies of 1, 4, 11, 17, and 20. So you can see either way is a good way to represent an ogive graph, but it depends what you're trying to get across to the person reading the graph. So you want as a fraction or as a percentage of the whole or as a accumulative number. And that is how it's done.